Greetings YouTube, I've been on vacation for a week, and in that week I hit a number of thrift shops, something like, I think, seven or eight of them. And over the course of the week, I picked up some bargains. Here we go, we have, this is a short sleeve Ed Hardy shirt, kind of a khaki color. I have a louder, kind of ugly Hawaiian style shirt, which I picked up. This, I think you might have actually seen this shirt already in a video. It's uh, got kind of a Day of the Dead thing going on there. Then we have a t-shirt which has angels and a sword. An embroidered shirt that says Kathmandu in Nepal. And a shirt over here which combines two of my favorite t-shirt themes, A Star and Skulls. I thought that was pretty cool. And we have a bunch of DVDs. Death Rides a Horse. The Mutant Chronicles, which I've heard is very bad, but I still want to see it. Unstoppable, which I've heard Denzel Washington is good as in. Finding Forrester, a Sean Connery film I actually quite enjoyed. Enter the Dragon. Um, and this is a book by um, Michio Kaku, um, Visions, by the author he, he wrote Hyperspace. Then we have the Godzilla remake, where Godzilla is an egg laying, laying female, and the Brooklyn is, Bridge is not a suspension bridge. We have the original Highlander, the producers, and a f favorite film of my wife's, Hedwig and the Angry uh, uh, Inch. Hedwig and the Angry Inch, um, which is all about rock and roll and cross dressing. Then we have uh, Dangerous Currents, uh, The State of Economics in America, a book on giant squid, The One Dimensional Man, The End of America, which deals with sociology, The Power of Myth by Campbell. A Citizen's Guide to Grassroots Campaigns, a book I was actually considering buying off of uh, Amazon, but I got it for a song. Uh, the Dark Age Ahead, a book on spices and how they change the world economically. And The Outermost House, which is about living on Nantucket, or there we go, Cape Cod rather, a section of, this, of, the, of the world that my wife really happens to find attractive. Um, and I picked up, a, I got a deal at, uh, at a thrift shop where we had four issues of Squee, which is a style of art that um, would appeal to my wife, so I picked them up for her. I got those for like three bucks. And a copy of the Boy Scout Climbing Manual, which my wife found interesting. Next we have the Complete Tolkien's The Hobbit, um, which has got illustrations from the animated version of the film. Yeah, I know it's an imperfect film, but it has a soft spot in my heart for that film. We have Shadowrun's Spall, Sprawl, which I picked up for a dollar. Uh, Rifter number two. The Rollmaster uh, Standard Rules. This is when they've actually, actually printed rules with the three ring binders, so you could put them into a, a folder. Uh, and the uh, Glorantha um, Second Age Player's Guide for RuneQuest. I don't, don't know which edition of RuneQuest that is. Next we have I picked up today at a yard sale. I picked up a. I think it just to turn up on me. Did it work the right way? Here we go. Turn all the way up. And all the way down. That's from, oddly, it's from Jeep. Uses four uh, D size batteries. I bought a Warthog for a dollar. So I thought the Warthog was kind of cool. I have an inspection light here, but it has a magnetic pickup. This extends out so you can pick things up and have a light source while you're doing that. This actually wasn't an awesome deal, and it was, but it was only 10 bucks. And what you do is you can move this center. And you notice see how the that that shaft is moving out? Well, as you're moving out of this one, it's moving into that one. And this lets you handle different size nuts with one tool. And it has a really nice heft to it. I quite like the design. I picked that up. But this is, my, I think, my favorite find. This right here, and I don't know if you can see it. I may not be able to. It's from Ever Ready, and it's a pen light. I picked it up at a junk shop, a thrift store, for a dollar. Because the uh, person that owned, owned the place wasn't sure if it works. And it does. And I figured from the design here, it was from the 1960s. All metal, you know, very simple, very basic. You unscrewed this end to put two AA batteries in there. But I did a little research. And this is from the 30s, so that's pretty darn cool, and especially seeing as it still works. So I was quite pleased with that. But these are the bargains I got over the course of uh, the last week, and I thought I would share them with you.